I became a liberal because I felt I had found a tribe whose values aligned with my own. I staunchly reject racism of any kind. I reject the marginalization of any human being. I reject tyrannical groupthink. I reject a system which allows an ambitious, misinformed, and dogmatic mob. I reject the acceptance of junk science and superstition to advance ideological agendas. I reject hate. I try to live every day with an open mind and make the best decisions for me and my family and the people I love. When I hear stuff like this, man, it just puts life into a different perspective. Once upon a time, I was a liberal. Okay. Well, to be honest, less than a year ago, I was still a liberal. I became a liberal because I felt I had found a tribe whose values aligned with my own. Okay, that's lit. I staunchly reject racism of any kind. I reject the marginalization of okay. any human being based off of their gender or sexual orientation. And you know, these claims are like really normal claims. Like you reject racism, obviously you reject any mar marginalization, check. Like these are these are cool claims. I reject tyrannical groupthink. I reject a system which allows an ambitious, misinformed, and dogmatic mob to suppress free speech, create false narratives, and apathetically steamroll over the truth. I reject the acceptance of junk science and superstition to advance ideological agendas. I reject hate. Yep, I do too. I these reject are the hate. reasons why I became a liberal. And these are yeah. the same reasons why I am. This joint make me want to become a liberal. I'm not even going to hold you. Like, I reject all that stuff. <laughs> am I liberal? I think I am. If I if that's liberal, I am. These are the reasons why I became a liberal. And these are the same reasons why I am now walking away. For years now, I have watched as the left has devolved into intolerant, inflexible, painful, misguided, ill-informed, un-American, hypocritical, menacing, callous, ignorant, narrow-minded, and at times, blatantly fascistic behavior and rhetoric. Mm. Liberalism has been co-opted and absorbed by the very characteristics it claims to fight against. For years now, I've watched as people on the left have become anesthetized to their own prejudices and bigotry. And the prejudices and bigotry- What? What? Straight black men are the white people of black people? What? Oh my goodness. When I see stuff like this, bruh, sometimes I wonder, what have we done to make people this mad or this angry? This person wrote, straight black men are the white people of black people. I don't even, first of all, the insult, you're the white people. That's in itself is insulting and racist. But when you say straight black men are the white people, what does that even mean? Why would you even write this? Those around them who echo their values. I have watched as formerly sensible people who claim to reject racism have come to embrace the principles of universally hating and blaming all of society's problems on all people who have white skin. I have witnessed the irony of advocacy for gender equality morph into blatant hatred and intolerance of men and masculinity. I have seen the once earnest fight for equality for the LGBT community mutate into an illogical demonization of heteronormativity and the push to vilify and attack our conventional concepts of gender. These same self-proclaimed victims of intolerance now turning on the gay community that they attached themselves to to advance their agenda, now calling what? gay people privileged and themselves victims of injustice. What? Privilege? This term privilege gets thrown around too loosely. Like, if you look if you look hard enough, you can find a privilege for anything. They said it's a gay white male privilege on that picture. It was just another one that said black men are the white people of black people. I don't even know what that means. But I'm assuming it alludes to the amount of privilege we have. That's privilege right there. Then there's an underlying belief that all white people have this crazy amount of privilege. Those are three groups of people right there. Like, I just don't understand sometimes. Like, am I privileged? Am I not privileged? Am I a good guy? Am I a bad guy? Do I believe the right thing? Do I believe the wrong thing? What am I supposed to even say? I'm just trying to be a good person. I genuinely am. But sometimes I don't know, bruh. 
Like, and I'm not even trying to forget the video. I don't know what to do sometimes. Watched as the left has allowed themselves to become hypnotized by false narratives and conclusions perpetuated by social justice warriors who misrepresent and misconstrue facts, evidence, and events to confirm their own biases that everyone who does not comply with their prejudicial conclusions and follow their orders is a racist, a bigot, a Nazi, a white supremacist, homophobic, Islamophobic, xenophobic, misogynistic, alt-right extremist. And I have watched as they have used these heartless and carelessly assigned labels to intimidate, threaten, bully, silence, attack, unemploy, blacklist, and destroy anybody who dares to fight back. They'll come for me, and then they'll come for you. And worst of all, the Democratic Party and the liberal media has embraced, affirmed, aided, and abetted this cult ideology. And me, I don't like to put blame on... Because I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to put blame on an entire political party. And I've lost subscribers for saying that. I'm not. I am not, I'm not going to do it. But when it comes to getting blacklisted for having specific beliefs, I've seen it happen. Like, I've posted a video. And y'all, if you watch my videos, you know I'm extremely fair. People have said they my videos are, aren't good or I'm not doing the right thing just for me watching these type of videos. I'm like, what? I'm literally just watching it <laughs> like and I'm being objective and I've seen it happen I've seen it happen online I've seen it happen in life I've seen it happen point blank period and it's not right in an effort to gain voters and maintain power the Democratic Party that I once loved has joined forces with the extremist left the Democratic Party and the liberal media now believe their own ill-gotten conclusions and have ominously decided that they and only they know the remedy for society's ills the left has decided that the solution to problems with race relations in America is more racism. The left believes that attacking, insulting, and dehumanizing one group of people elevates another. The left now believes that there are no boundaries when telling lies, omitting the truth, or misrepresenting facts when telling the news, because their end justifies their means. Oh my the gosh. left has now decided that its point of view is the only acceptable one, and that suppressing... That thought says conservative thoughts are silenced. And I'm not trying to be that guy, but they have been silenced. Like, Twitter, remember when Twitter, before Elon Musk bought Twitter, they were literally blocking people from saying certain things. And that was, that came out to be true. Like, this is not just random people, random thoughts. This stuff is actually happening. You can't deny it any longer. It's happening in real life. And banning open dialogue and debate is virtuous and progressive. The Democratic Party has adopted a deleterious belief system happily and without skepticism, separating people into groups based off of identity and then organizing them into camps of victims and oppressors. Bruh. If you are a person of color, an LGBT person, a woman, or an American immigrant, the Democratic Party wants you to know that you are a victim and destined to stay that way. They not will a insist that you are a victim doomed to exist within a system that is rigged against you. That you I'm are not a, a victim. victim of systemic oppression. That you are a victim of your circumstances. And that no amount of hard work or motivational action will ever allow you to overcome your victimhood or the privilege of those around you. And that's one thing I've always had a hard time. You know, that's one thing that always I've had a hard time agreeing with. I grew up in a very good household. My father, y'all probably know him, but he raised us to be tough. I'm not even going to lie. Like, he raised us to be tough. He raised us to go after what we want no matter what. Point blank, period. Point blank, period. It just was what it was. And that's how I came up. Like, I may not seem like it. Like, I'm very chill on YouTube and stuff, but I'm relentless. So when I hear the phrase, like, you're a victim... I'm not a victim. I've never been a victim. I will never be a victim. It just it just what it is. And I know I'm a young black man in America. I'm not a victim though. I'm not. <laughs> it I won't say it. You will never hear that coming out of my mouth ever. So when I hear it, I'm like, "No, I'm not." And when I hear other people say it, deep down I'm like, "No, you're not. You can achieve anything you want." You can. We're in the land of the free, home of the brave. That's that's what it is. It's perhaps the Democratic Party's greatest and most insidious lie. 
But if you are a minority in America today, the left-wing politicians and the liberal media don't want you to ever discover this lie. So they bombard us with stories designed to reinforce the narrative that you are in danger, that you cannot succeed. They manipulate your fears and concerns by telling you that you are disadvantaged, disempowered, and disposable to everyone except them. They will tell you that you need them. They will tell you that you are only safe under their supervision. They will promise to liberate you from all that chains you. And then, they will do absolutely nothing for you. Once upon a time, I was a liberal. But liberalism has changed, and I will no longer be a part of an ideology or political party that represents everything that contradicts my values of unity, equal opportunity, personal empowerment, compassion, and love. So I am walking away, and I encourage all of you to do the same. Walk away. Man, that's some deep stuff, man. Like. I try to live every day with an open mind and make the best decisions for me and my family and the people I love. But when I hear stuff like this, man, it just puts life into a different perspective. Anyways, let me know what y'all think. I catch y'all later. Peace.